Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Canadian Duke and today guys I'm doing something a little bit different than I usually do. I do some commentaries every once in a blue moon. Today I guess you can kind of call it a commentary. Uh, the gameplay you're watching is some NHL 16 beta SHL gameplay with myself, uh, Clapperton, Tactics, Bajoko, Famox, I think one of Tactics' friends was in this game maybe. Uh, but last night we were playing the game having tons of fun. I was playing on the Xbox last night kind of switched it up a little bit. So by the time I got off, it was probably about like 11, 11.30 at night uh, here. And I went on Twitter, started reading some tweets, and people were, well, a lot of what a lot of people do, what they did with 15, and what obviously when it was 16, people bitched and moaned and complained about the game. All right. I've said this before, and I'll say this again. Nobody, and I mean nobody at any time, literally forces their hand into your wallet, takes out that $60, and makes you buy that game. Okay. No one makes you buy that game. It is completely up to your choice to spend that kind of money on the game. If you don't like the game, this is why a beta and demos are so important. Because you got to play that game. you got to know if you're going to enjoy it or not. If you play the demo or beta and you don't like it, you don't have to buy the game. That's the beautiful thing with betas and demos. But anyways, back on track here. Um, <laughs> so I'm not going to get into the gameplay if I like it or not. I'm going to say I do like it. Obviously, I'm going to do, uh, do somewhat of a beta, beta review after the week, after I've played it for that week and I have all my thoughts gathered. But anyways, what today is we're going to be talking about is making a difference or just bitching and moaning. There's two types of people in the world. There's ones who can sit back, bitch and moan all day about their problems and never do anything about it. And then there's the people who see a problem in the world and they go out there and they make that problem disappear or try, they at least put an effort to try and fix that problem. There is no shame and failing. Even if you, if you, if you can at least sit down at the end of the day and say, I, at least I tried. That is nothing to be ashamed about. That is something good. And then there's people who will literally sit back in their chairs, bitch and moan, and do nothing about it. All right? Now, that's the kind of stuff you see a lot in the NHL community. People bitch and moan about the game, which is almost silly at this point. EA has been so open in the community this year with taking feedback and stuff, with the, having the game changers, flying people out to Vancouver to play the game, test it, who actually play the game every day, like Yui, Flop, uh, Clappy, UTP, Owe. These guys are all playing each other a lot, so they brought them out to Vancouver. They said, here's the alpha, play it, let us know what you need, what needs to be changed. They took notes, they flew them out home, they brought them back in. And look at the changes we've made. They made the changes that they asked for. And this is what's so beautiful about having a beta out so early. The disc copy has already been shipped out, alright? It's out, it's getting packaged to EA or whatever. So you're getting packaged for Xbox and PlayStation. But you can still have that update, uh, sorry, that first day update. And that is what's so beautiful about the beta. There is surveys that EA has put out that you can go and fill out. They're taking feedback from that. And there's, oh, you can go to the forums, post stuff there, your feedback. If there's like a really in-depth thing you want to get into, just go to the forums, fill it out. If you just want to go through simply, have a couple minutes, go through the survey. Because every person makes a difference when it comes to this stuff. Because you know what's going to happen? NHL 15 was by far not perfect. We all know that. We're all aware of it. I enjoyed it, but I know it wasn't perfect. I'm not that naive. NHL 16, so far I'm having a blast with it. I think it's going to be a good game. And obviously not perfect, but this community still expects perfection. But again, back to the survey and the forums. Go there, post your... I'm going to have a link for the survey, a link for the forums... You guys go there, fill out your thoughts, your, your, uh, fill out what you have problems with, fill out your thoughts, fill out all that stuff you need that you want EA to know, because they're paying attention. If anything, I've learned this year about EA, they're taking in feedback from the community. So if you're going to sit in your chair, you're going to bitch and you're going to complain, and then when the game comes out, you still don't like it, you want to know why that's probably going to be? Because you didn't give feedback. If you give feedback and they go out and you still don't like it, but you know what? Tough luck. You don't have to buy it still. But at least you can say you made that difference. You put in that feedback. And that's truly what this game needs. That's what this community needs is people go out and give feedback. And we have, oh, EA has taken so much feedback. Again, I'm just going over, I'm kind of repeating myself right now. But it is, it is more obvious than ever that EA is taking feedback from the community this year. So this is our chance to go out there, give the feedback, and make a difference. All right? So I'm leaving it on you guys. I already filled out the survey. I went to the forums. I filled out a whole freaking paragraph of what I thought after my first night. And I'll probably do that again as the week goes on. 
But again, guys, links will be in the description for that stuff. Go there, make a difference. And then if you want to bitch and complain, go right ahead. But at least you tried to make a difference. Have an awesome day, guys. Enjoy your beta week. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.